Hello there, welcome into this new video. If you want to see how we can send emails using MailChimp, you are in the right place. I'm going to be showing you what we can do in a very easy, easy way. Uh, this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so you don't want to be worrying about absolutely anything. We're going to just cover the basics of how we can send our first email. Whether you are a brand, you are an influencer, or you're just getting started, you want to figure it out how you can do this without uh, doing this manually because it totally sucks doing it for yourself. All right, so let's totally begin here into MailChimp. All right, so the first thing you want to do here is to click into the link that I'm going to leave you guys down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free and you might be getting a few reward just by signing up. So if you want to choose a option of a premium section, a standard or whatever option you want to, we do want to focus only into the free plan so you can see how easy is to use a MailChimp. After that, you um, you're free to decide if it's really worthy or not. So just provide an email, create your username, and hit into a passcode. If you don't want to receive emails, like if this was some kind of spam from Mailchimp, go into this dot and go into sign up. So you're going to be seeing something like this. So this, for example, is an email that I just created myself and I sent it directly into another email that I do have here into Gmail. So I was just testing how it actually looks. So if you want to see how we can do this, uh, actually, I'm going to create something else. But this is just a, like a template we just created here. So what I want to do here is to go into my dashboard. Here is the words what's happening here, the audience trend ongoing. You might be seeing a lot of messages that let's say something like, let's get started, let's help you to go through into the introduction, blah, blah, blah. So you want to focus in there. We just want to see how we can send emails, right? So if you go into this huge button that says create, we do have three different options to building one of our emails so you can send a regular email you can send a landing page or you can create a form if you want to people to subscribe to your email or wherever you want to do so in here what i want to do is to create a very easy um email using a template so we don't want to be focused a lot into the design we already want to use the option that mailchimp has to offer to us so we don't just like blow our uh, brains here. So what I want to choose is regular email. I want to choose a designed email and this is going to be sending us into the edit section of the campaigns from the MailChimp. So this one says choose your email builder. So if you want to choose the better mode or the classic builder, that's totally up to you. We are going to be focusing into the better mode because there are just like a few tools that are like, let's say, improved so we can better understand how new way to create email works. So as you can see, we do have all our blocks. This is the styles, the templates, and the optimization. So here what I want to do is to only focus into the template, first of all, of course. And here to the templates, I want to go into the X button, go into emails, and here into the emails, I do have an email that I just created. So what I want to do is to go into my templates and look for something that I want to create based on something that was already uh, designed. So let's say that I want to choose the creative assistance like this. All right, so as you can see, here is the template for selling, announce, advertise, welcome, and all that. Continue with existing content go into get it and now we do have these options to start uh, creating some blocks so for example let's say that I do want to select this block and actually delete it we can uh, we're gonna be adding that later so I'm gonna just show you how we can add different blocks so first of all I want to choose into my logo and you can choose the option that says set logo and you can choose for example on a specific image that you already have into your computer into your device so you just need to import that it's going to be taking a while not so much of course so once you have here your logo you want to resize that if you want to like this for example i'm going to be choosing 
this logo, this huge logo. Actually, this is not like a logo, this is just an image, but I can use that as a logo. I'm going to just do something like this. There we go. And then, if you want to align that into the left part or into the right part, or if this is a very huge part, view part, you can do that. In my case, I just want to focus into the left part and leave this in a small size like this. So as I just said guys, I'm not going to be focusing a lot into this side. So I'm just going to leave it everything like this. But if you want quickly, I can show you to change, for example, the fund. So you choose this block, go into the work sands. And let's say that I'm interested into this fair play display. And there we go. So once again, I can do the same thing with all my blocks. So I want to scroll a bit up, fair play display. And here into the add photo, I can browse images and choose the same option just for a demonstration uh, option, which is actually something like that. And here I can add a button text. Now, if I want to add something else that we just deleted, for example, like a product, a logo, or my socials, as you can see, remember that we do have these blocks. So choose the block that you want to add and paste it whatever you want to. For example, I'm going to be choosing here. All right, so we have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So if I want to change something from, let's say, for example, from Facebook to other one, let's say Instagram. Uh, let's see if we do have, we do have TikTok, actually, it's really great. So instead of website, I want to choose Facebook or let's say Instagram. So input here, you post in a profile, hit into add another social link. If you want to, we can change the icon style. The, the best one here, want to choose small. Lastly, what we want to do is to test our our mail, right? So as you can see, uh, here's going to be appearing the two option. To I'm going to choose the option that says recipient, and here into the recipient, what I want to do is to select the audience that I do have. If I don't have any audience, I need to choose a new audience in order to add personal emails. Here into subject, I can add my new subject. Here into save. Like this from email you can edit the form if you want to for example I'm just gonna name this one Steven and this is my email address I'm gonna hit into save this has to be a real email address so please don't just create uh, something else so here into the subject I'm just gonna tap add subject I want to choose let's say for example things for your support and then here we we do have the preview text like let's say a small reward for you and then i get into save and then after that here is the content so here the content this is the template that we just edited a few minutes ago so if you want to send yourself an email before you send this uh into all the subscribers i'm going to be choosing send a test email Send a test to you, choose your own email and send the option that says send a test. So after you hit in there, it's going to be appearing something like that. Something that I just sent it myself from the mail from uh, MailChimp. So after you verify that your link works, that it's looking really great, then you're actually good to go. So select different uh, templates, create as much drafts as you can. Try to test before to send guys. Trust me on this one. You don't want to do some mistakes. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys, if you want to see more about this great, great application. Hopefully, this was a very useful video for you. And well, guys, there you have it. Thank you for watching this video once again. I'll see you in the next one.